Hey, welcome back to Happy Little No Trees. This video has been uh, in in the coming for a while. Is a comparison of different ways to do split toning. Um, yeah, I, I was sick for a while, and so now we're just going to dive right in. I've been using for a while now, and been my favorite tool is this split tone from Model Nodes over here. Um, let me just make sure someone's up. Yep. Uh, and has been by far my favorite uh, tool to work through and work with. The thing is, Pixel Tools uh, came out with their own, made by Carr Hendrickson, and there's a lot of the same settings. He actually has in here, uh, if you look at the curve, you can bring it up, you can actually bring this curve up and then just show that when we flip back and forth. Right out of the box, the thing that I still like about uh, model notes is the sophisticated looking curves that you put on the screen. So very fine lines. I don't like this big blap. There's their lines. It's a little bit less nuanced um, than this. Uh, and we can see. So normally with mono nodes, there's uh, the controls are for uh, when we look at it. There's high green or for all RGB is what I usually pick is what I, I I like to use, and it lets us pick a high, a mid, and a low, and then also a pivot point to kind of shape that, and then also how hard it hits in that curve. So those are the curves, and that is generally you know like I like playing around with it. I like. Personally, I like my blues to pop up first and then flatten out and let the reds be a little bit shallower uh, and then pick up and ride over the top uh, and be a little bit hotter. So then you end up with that same like split tone look of, you know, a little, you know, sh bluish in the shadows and everything. There is no forced uh, control to put the tips back together or to pinch the neutral point in the middle. Uh, is kind of one of the limiting factors to you don't you don't have that you have to kind of just play it by ear and feel it uh, and you're limited to just seeing the curves and the ramp you don't see uh, that that's all the diagnostics maybe we'll have more in the future um, but yeah just you playing around with it and you can steer around and kind of make your own shape like that uh, Pixel Tools version uh, has the same. RGB split. They actually have uh, RGB split. They also have um, <clears throat> hue based, uh, which, if I look at it, is similar. Uh, so I'm working on the advanced. The basic is, yeah. So there's basic, and then there's the advanced setting. So this is hue, but when you bring up the show curves, uh, oops. Nope, nope, nope. Wrong one. Bring it back. Oh no. Undo, undo, undo. There we go. Uh, yeah, so let's kick on Pixel Tools and switch over. Uh, so, yeah, you can see I've kind of already been playing around with it. Uh, and the other one is hue based. You have, you can see patches with this. So, you can see the high mids, the high mids and lows as you dial everything in where where those two, those things are. Uh, they do have uh, a setting to force clean backs and clean whites in terms of how you want that. And then a strength of how hard that pushes. So you can kind of draw your curves hue based like so. And then as you dial the high hue, uh, it's, it automatically curves them to give you what hue you want on the high end. Uh, <clears throat> this is similar to how it functions in contour, if you're using contour to to do your split toning. Uh, but to compare it with mononodes, it would be this uh, RGB one, um, which I understand the default is clean blacks, clean whites, that's fine. Yeah, but put it at zero. Let us split things around. And so you're going to go up and down. That's something that you can't really do with uh, mono notes. And I don't know if it's, if it's visually just a thing or that's how it mathematically works. But 
uh, you have your center line there to kind of see it. They actually have the mid zone uh, of the high end and the mid zone. So there's even more control points. And you can see how it's just arching that guy around. Nice and smooth like that. Uh, so you have more control points, which I guess if you're trying to be very specific with the look that you're dialing in, um, <coughs> and how you want that split to function, that is helpful. Uh, is it necessary? It depends. I don't know. So yeah, that's the thing about clean blacks and whites. And zero uh, for clean blacks. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, still a little sick. But yeah, there we go. There we can kind of bring up the low, low red, low green, push blue the other way. Yeah, it can kind of make a funky look uh, and just get a feel for it uh, and drive it. So that the low mids is like individual. So in, in mono nodes, you have the low end, how it hits the curve. And that function hits all three. Whereas this, you can kind of deal with how you want that bottom the toe or the shoulder of the curve on an individual basis in the pixel tools version they also have a sat mask so if you're like i don't want to draw it in i can shape out uh, the high sat areas you can't invert that uh so it's only slowly taking it out uh an invert tool would be nice if i was to use this more often uh, but then, uh, yeah, the neutral pivot, you can pick where, uh, where that pivot line is and then also how much of it is neutral. So you can neutralize the whole swath and it's only affecting the outer edges. Uh, but that neutral pivot is where it pinches from, uh, and you pick it. And then, yeah, you can push the blend up, which I guess just magnifies it or take it down. But... <coughs> Again, uh, that's kind of just how it functions. Uh, I, mean, I mean, at the end of the day, it's very similar. Like, if you were to go through, it's just what do you do? You want to have to hand draw your curves in a finicky guy like this, where you're drawing it. Like, if you just turn, I just do a layer mix there off of that, and then you can see we're down here with our hand drawn red curve. Like, yeah, that's how you you used to do it. And that's functionally what's going on when you're drawing individualized curves that split and have different toe lengths and all that. So you can see we could pretty much, I don't know if I can get it to be how I had it for that, but I pulled all that green out of that low end. Yeah, it's getting funky now. I don't know. Uh, but that's how you used to draw curves. It is nice, both of these plugins, if you have a panel, it's just a dial and you can go back and forth and kind of wiggle it into whatever view and perspective you want. And it's all dinged up there. And then turn off the thing. And usually because this is done at the shot level and it's a lot one of the last things out the door before the DRT, set it and forget it. You get it to how you like it for your shot and be done with it. So it's just kind of, I feel like both are doing the same thing. Uh, Pixel Tools has one extra layer of flexibility in this advanced version of itself, uh, where you can kind of uh, pick and choose how each layer, um, and you also have the neutral pivot and pinch. Um, but I would say it's open door season on, it has the broadest flexibility. Uh, I'd like the curve to be, the, the curves on screen to be a little bit more finessed. I do like how gentle uh, these look. They're not, they don't feel obtrusive when I'm looking at the image. And a lot of times I don't even have the curve, the ramp on. So it's like just gentle looking curves. Sometimes I even forget I left them on because they're so nice and clean. Uh, but yeah, you know, like you said here in <coughs> mononodes, slope low affects all three together. Whereas uh, that, mid you can do that midpoint affects both the top and bottom end so pixel tools kind of has it where it's split out and you can affect that slope and shoulder individually uh the other one is contour contour has its own uh 
split toning tool as well, but it's hue based. So when you bring it up and you enable split, you get your high end split and your low end split. And oops, there we go. Uh, and you get to pick your high hue and your low hue, your shadow hue. And you can see it just dials it in based on, I want, I want it to be an orange hue of some sort. And it's automatically drawing those curves on the top. And then you have, I don't want it in the low end, I just want it in the high end. You can pretty much spell that around. And this just affects different strength points throughout the curve. Is it a low or a boosting, subtractive or additive uh, saturation color to it. Uh, it has a neutral pinch point that you can pinch down as well. Uh, and you can pinch the curves. Uh, floor divergence opens it up, closes it down, but very much similar settings. Uh, but this is the hue-based one, which it's more limited in terms of how far you can push things. The sat mask has an invert tool, so you can uh, bring the sat mask in and have it just work different parts of the image, and you can invert that and work, you know, other ways. Uh, it just kind of depends on what you're doing. But yeah, contour a little bit more limited, uh, has the nice finer drawn uh, curves. I wish it showed you which color those lines were, if they were R, G, O, B, or green, as you're dialing it around, because it's kind of just, they're just a color. And I don't know. <coughs> um, but yeah, personally, uh, I like using mono nodes. Uh, Pixel tools is interesting just because of how you get that extra layer of dialability. Um, and so I, I'm going to have to play around with it a little more to find out and see. But the reason I choose to use it as a set apart module is because uh, contour, great. Um, I don't, for what it does, when you want to be speedy and you want to be quick on some of the things, I love the saturation tool in Contour. Um, but I like having my nodes do individual jobs. I don't like having them do different jobs. But overall, like, this is, you know, pretty much I was traveling and then came back and was sick. And in terms of being able to draw this, I guess, for with Pixel Tools, uh, testing and comparing what I already use and they asked if I could see how if I would be uh, would switch over I want my curve I want those lines to be finer I don't know maybe that's just a preference thing it just feels it looks clunky but yeah this mid mid slider you can do some weird funky things with I mean who would want that as their image but Pippity pop and draw these really, really fascinating looking curves. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, I'll probably start to keep playing around with that uh, and see what, I mean, ultimately, there is a finite limit to the range of flexibility and the colors and the things. It's, it all depends on the look that you're trying to build. Um, this does offer way more choice. And maybe that's a good thing, maybe that's a bad thing, and maybe I'll second guess myself. But yeah, <coughs> excuse me. Hopefully you enjoyed taking a little walksy poo through seeing uh, how Mono Note stacks up against Pixel Tools. I didn't really push them in a stress test way. Kind of just, you know, I like to draw the curve individually anytime that I'm doing it. Uh, makes everything bespoke and unique because you, if you have it as presets and you, and you set it up that way, you can never really tell what what it's going to be, what it's going to do, and that's kind of it. And that's all I got to say about that. And life is so life is like a box of chocolates. Anyways. <laughs>